Um, question two, chair sheet five. Reads: What would be the gravitational acceler? What would be the acceleration of gravity at the surface of the world with twice Earth's mass and twice its radius? So now we know the formula for the gravitational acceleration between like two things is given by m1 m2 r squared so if basically you wanted to find the gravity you would say g m where one of them will be for the earth so you can pick maybe this one to be for the earth then m2 you can just pick m m e then r squared that's how we'd find the gravity but where it's basically coming from is um if the force is equal to mass times acceleration the mass of the earth then the acceleration due to gravity then we've got our g m e m2 over r2 then this one should be should be m2 that's the mass of whatever is moving because the earth itself will not be moving once it's affected by the gravity pull so now when this m and this m they cancel out we're going to have the gravity being equal to g m 2 r squared so now we're being taught to say in this condition now we are trying to find the gravity so now what will happen is the g will still remain the same but then the mass will be twice so i have 2 m 2 then the radius will be twice as well so i have 2 r 2 2 r squared so now they say this is g this is uh this is g1 this is g2 so now um g2 is equal to we have our two then this one when we square it it will be four so our four then we're going to have g m2 over r squared then you'll notice that this is just g1 so we're going to have g2 being equal to one over two of g1 so our acceleration due to gravity is g1 so we're going to have g2 being equal to 1 over 2 9.8 so g2 is going to be equal to 4 point half of this that's 4.9 meters per second squared and that's all that's how the gravitation no acceleration would be